UCTV Sports, we're back here in fabulous Las Vegas, the T-Mobile Arena, the site of the Elite Eight. We got a very interesting matchup in store between Mar some of March's best in UConn and Gonzaga. And I'm here with a man who needs absolutely zero introduction, a college basketball guru, the electric John Fanta. John, it's a pleasure. Thank you so much. But let's talk some Huskies basketball because they've really seemed to be hitting their stride right when the time is right. Uh, they're coming off a fantastic, dominant win against Arkansas. What really impresses you the most about this Husky team, uh, as you've seen in the tournament? Well, Keegan, I think that when you look at what UConn's been able to do, it's the defensive end of the floor that's clicked for this team. We knew that they were a great offensive group in that Adama Sonogo and Jordan Hawkins are just, they're such electrifying presences for this team to be able to score the ball. Third in the country in Kempom. The difference is felt in this matchup. UConn's defending at a higher level. If you remember at one point when they lost six of eight games in the Big East, Dan Hurley said, we're not defending. Like, we're, we're so poor in man that I have to play zone. And what's happened is his team has evolved in just digging in defensively and getting stops. Their rim protection is solid. Andre Jackson epitomizes leadership. Tristan Newton's been steady. UConn is guarding, and that's why this team is still standing. We knew they could score. There's a lot of teams that could score, though. What they've been able to do that makes them so, so tough is that they're racking up stop after stop after stop, and they're stringing them together. Everybody was talking about how great they're in sync offensively. But I think this group in January got away from who they were on the defensive end. That's not the case anymore. Right. And they're coming up against a very tough matchup in Gonzaga, obviously coming off a thriller win against UCLA. You talked a little bit about UConn's defense. What's going to be the key to victory for UConn against this Gonzaga team? Yeah, I think what the key comes down to is UConn's depth because Gonzaga doesn't have as much depth. They just don't. They have Drew Timmy. They have Julian Strother. I think it's important that Sonogo stays out of foul trouble in this game. I think that's very important. Even though Donovan Klingon can come in and do his part, you want your best to stay in the game. So whoever stays out of foul trouble, it's really important. And then we've been talking about this all year, but it holds to be true. Like, Gonzaga's flawed area has been point guard play. UConn, when they struggled, they didn't have great point guard play, but Tristan Newton has been nails here late in the season. So for me, I look at Newton as being such a key to everything UConn does. Because here's the thing. They've got the two in Hawkins. They've got the three in Jackson. They've got the four in Carabin. I thought Alex Carabin played one of his best all-around floor games of the season on Thursday, even though he didn't take a three. He's more than a three-point shooter. They've got the five play from Sonogo and Klingon. If they have point guard play, the Huskies will be in Houston next week. Now, you talked about point guard play, but let's take a look at these bigs. We've got Adama Sonogo. we got Drew Timmy. This is the heavyweight matchup that people are going to be wanting to see. Who's got the edge in this matchup and why? I can't wait. I cannot wait for the game. I cannot wait for the matchup. Who's got the edge to this game? Man, that's what makes a heavyweight fight so good. Because you walk into the fight and you say, these are two boxers that are more than capable of being champion. So I'm not going to sit here and say one's got the edge over the other. It would be disrespectful. It would be disrespectful to say one has the edge over the other. That's to be decided out here. If Sonogo plays his best, his best is better than anybody's. If Timmy plays his best game, his best is better than anybody's. Let's leave that out to the court. That's why it's such a great showdown. You know what I've taken away from the last 48 hours? How much Drew Timmy and Adama Sonogo respect each other. They both said, I have a lot of respect for his game. That's college basketball. Let's let it be decided on the court to see who is the best prized fighter. It's very true. John, thank you so much for being with us today. Tip-offs at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Stay tuned to our Instagram and Twitter for game updates, as well as YouTube for our post-game report later tonight.